Yo. Live. 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 Hey. What's going on, guys? Hey. <laughs> afternoon, uh, Josh. Good afternoon, Zach. Oh, it is about the same time zone, so I can say that. You're probably early evening now. Uh, three o'clock here. Oh, no, you're even more afternoon than I. Yeah. No. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're a little bit different time than uh, usually we've been either like in the morning or evening. We're doing kind of in between, so... Uh, for those of you guys who normally like to watch, hopefully people can watch live. If not, catch it later. Uh, I saw, uh, let's see, who was there? Gunplay Uruguay was saying that it's a shift during his night shift. So that's good. Oh, do, do you get to watch it while you're actually on your night shift? Bags that. Because, man, some, I used to work at a petrol station, or um, and I'd do the midnight to eight shift, and, man, it feels like you're the only person alive on the planet. Yeah, so that's nice. Good one. Oh man, that's 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 pretty terrible. Uh, how yeah. long how long were you were doing that job? Uh, that was in my early twenties to help pay off a car that I had. Um, so I only did that maybe for about a year. Um, it felt like years, oh, but man. it was probably only about a year. Yeah, even a year would be fine. I worked uh, that shift in a factory for like just like six weeks. It was oh, terrible. Yeah. I just wanted well, to I die. Just, <laughs> I didn't so know bad. I did the shift every like maybe once a month or something. I would get that shift. It wasn't every time. I can't um, imagine. I can't imagine doing it every time. Oh boy! No, yeah, this was <clears throat> like Monday through Friday. What? So, like, yeah, just your whole day is ruined because then you just yeah, sleep yeah. all day and you wake up like uh, I don't know. I woke up like five p.m. or something like that, and then like eat and get ready to go to work because I had to work. I think I started work <sighs> at like yeah ten p.m. Maybe it was like ten to seven something like that. Mm. And it feels but, like you don't get the same amount of daytime hours as you would if you did a normal yeah. job. Like it feels like mm. all you're doing is waiting until you start. That's all yep. it is. Oh yep. man, exactly. That's yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't know. People who do that like for years and years, this people do it like for mm. decades as their job. It's crazy, man. <sighs> Thank you so. to those people who are doing that because that means uh, I don't have to do it. <laughs> yeah, somebody's got to do it. Like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, working in a factory, the, the pay is not bad. Mm. It's uh, better pay than working in like fast food or something like that. But mm. it's rough. I didn't mind no, to listen to music or anything either. At least, the, and I would yeah. assume this is probably true for other factories as well too. I couldn't have like iPod uh, playing or anything like at the time, so nothing to like kill the boredom of just uh, repeating the yeah. same thing for eight hours. I guess that's like a health and safety thing. But geez, that mm. would that would help so much just having music going. Yep. Yeah, uh, just a song on loop. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be something. okay. <laughs> something like yeah. that. Uh, something. Man. There's just nothing, and like you're not really near anyone, so you can't like really talk to anyone. Everyone's just kind of doing their own thing. Uh, you're like at your station, so like, yeah. What was it? What, uh, what was the factory? What was it? What were we actually doing? Uh, making plastic parts for Maytag. You guys have Maytag there in Australia. You know Maytag. Maytag. What's that now? They make that? A, like a. Appliances, refrigerators, washing machines, oh, stuff okay. like that. So it's wow, a factory that made the plastic parts for them. Where was that? In the States or in um yeah, yeah, yeah. Or in the yeah, uh, wow. uh I think like just before I went to college, so I was like eighteen. Jeez. So now it's like a summer job. Factory work. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just for a oh, summer man. job to make some money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Good there learning experience though. Certainly yeah. don't ever want to have to do that again. <laughs> yeah, the good old value of the dollar. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I never, I hope I never will work in a, in a fast food. I did fast food for years, like eight years. So fryers and burgers and stuff like that. Oh, so no. Uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. I didn't mind it. Yeah. You just smell like oil and, and chips and yeah. fries, but um, it's, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Mm. But mm. yeah, <sighs> it probably would be a little bit better, I would think. But yeah, yeah, it sounds like that. Okay, what do we want to show? I'll just say, uh, before, uh, like before going on to having like an actual job as a teacher, uh, basically my two like main jobs that I had like when I was young was like high school, I worked at Toys R Us and college, I worked at GameStop. So pretty easy, like fun oh, jobs. <laughs> the, the cushiest retail jobs yeah. for Westerners, yes. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was pretty um, lucky, so... Uh, All right, okay. let's talk about some Gunpla stuff here. And we are yes. going to see quite a lot of Gunpla stuff. Uh, if you guys saw, obviously, the title of the video, uh, the theme for today is uh, Sky and Model. 
So it's not going to be all necessarily exclusively Gumpla or even Mecha related. I assume we'll probably have some other stuff in there as well. But Josh, you want to do your thing? I'll do my thing. So every episode, Zach and I go through Twitter. We find a hashtag that people have been posing. And it'll be stuff like post your Xeon suits, post your um, EFSF suits or something like that. We just go through and look at them. Um, if you guys don't follow these builders on Twitter, check out their names, follow them along. You'll get some really cool stuff. Um, Twitter is addictive as hell uh, for good gun plot photos. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Yes. Uh, like whenever I have like uh, just like a few minutes or something like that, I'm waiting in line or something. And uh, mm -hmm. like all usually like the first thing I have to do like on my phone is just going through not notifications because I have messages or comments and things like that, like just from my social media. Uh, but like when that's all taken care of and I have nothing else to do, Twitter is always what I go to mm. as like just the time killer. Cause I know like I'll be interested in whatever I find there for the next yeah. however many minutes. I'll be like Facebook find, or Instagram is a lot more yeah. kind of like hit and miss. I'll probably just be like bored with half this stuff, mm -hmm. but Twitter, I know I'm in for a lot of cool. Yeah. Stuff. It's, it must be just who we follow or something. Cause I only really follow Gunpla builders in Japan, but. I've said it before, but it's like the least toxic social media thing in my mm. mind. Like I open it and it all feels nice and be, not being able to read the Japanese as well means I'm only there for the images, which is just yeah. makes it fun. It's yeah, yeah, I can't recommend it. Yeah. Um, but I do have to call out um, Krosama in the chat. He said, it's, um, I don't think Gundam and Sky Photography just doesn't work. Um, I'd like you to leave the chat because I don't know if you've seen <laughs> any of my photography and my Zeta and stuff. So um, thank you very much. Yes, you are very much wrong. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Uh, today, well, I think he does have a good point about uh, Macross will probably be cool. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, kind of the, kind of the same kind of thing, I guess. But all right, let's see here. Uh, we've got the first few I know are from people who caught the hashtag and I think are probably watching live. Oh, uh, caught the uh, announcements, I should say. Uh, so Mike Skyers, uh, always a live watcher. I don't know if he's watching live now, though. But he just posted this just recently ago. So uh, Mike's couple of builds here, taking a what's it? Taking a note from what? What did they say? Taking a page from Naoki's notebook. Page, there you go. Naoki. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the expression uh, with like the whole font style and everything. But mm. yeah, it wouldn't work. That's the HG, but I don't remember the HG having that uh, little detail inside the front of the leg there. I, I guess it does. Bye. I don't remember that either. Maybe it does. I can't see my hazen blade leg right here. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, if there's the first thing I saw when I saw that, I was like, mm, is that a little piece of plot plate yeah. detail added in there? But I don't I don't think it is. I think it's the stock detail. I just don't remember that. And some Barbatos Ooh, yeah. here as well. I wonder oh, if a bit, of, bit of the light mm. coming through the um the little mm. the little pink bits on the shoulder. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah, what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say, I wonder if that's a natural rock or if that's something that he's made. It's kind of, it looks almost like something made, but I assume mm. it's just a real rock. Mm. It looks super detailed. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Probably took it outside, or maybe it's a, just a big rock he has in his room right next to his window. Mm. So he just put it there. <laughs> Never know. Uh, let's go. People decorate with all sorts of fun stuff. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Hasaki also, who I know is watching, mm. uh, he's there. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, cool. It's Jim Type C. And this is totally like uh, Naoki as well, because you never really see the feet. And then I saw a photo mm. of him taking a photo, and that's because he's holding it with his hand. I think oh, really? That, I think so. Yeah. Well, that's that's one example. I think yeah, because I always go, "Why well, can't you see the feet?" Um, yeah. You mean Naoki? A picture know, of now holding yeah. the model in his hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Uh, I'd seen uh, in one of his photos, they had like a photo, I think it was like of the Delta Kai or Hyakushiki. One uh, is a gold-plated kit, and you could see his reflection in, mm -hmm. in the in the model, like in the leg part or something like that. And I could <laughs> tell it was sat up on top of the wall. You know, in Japan, like around the neighborhoods and stuff, they have all like the walls, like fences, but they're just like these like cement or like uh, cylinder block cinder block yep. walls <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, it looks like it was just like set up on top of one of those probably just like right outside his house in his neighborhood or something like oh, that okay yeah uh, but that's not to say that that's what he does every time I don't know but oh, yeah. <laughs> at least that's what I figured he did because I saw it in that one reflection once mm. but 
It looks nice. It's cool. It's, that's cool. And it's just the outside lighting, I think, because this doesn't have direct sunlight on it. It's filtering through clouds, so it just softens it up. And this is why I like these. It looks real. It's cool. And you get that really nice, uh, you get those really rich blacks in there, too. Yeah. Some nice shadows. Mm -hmm. mm. So I'm trying to work. I'm going to work out if we're going to notice if any of these are done with like an SLR and they've changed the aperture to be a really high number so that the depth of field is really wide. Because um, mm. that's what I always try and do so that it doesn't look like it's a toy. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be interested to see. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sure some, yeah. Let's see, this is from Atsu, 1975. He's got a little bit of foreground in there, some stuff uh, yeah, yeah. underneath. Yeah. With the Gundam, see the the ropes, just ropes, chains, this kind of stuff just doesn't work in that doesn't, scale. Doesn't work, yep. <laughs> like yeah. Like just like floating, floating up the other ropes, <laughs> floating above the Gundam uh, there. Uh, these action scenes are pretty cool, though. That's cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. What are these? Are these figures or HG? Um, the, hand, the hands look kind of different. Hmm. They kind of look like builders' parts hands, I think. So the builders' parts uh, hands are are kind of the they're really odd. Like I like the builders' parts hands because they're really nicely detailed, but the position like the of them is, is weird. Yeah, it is. You're right. Mm. So I think that's probably what those are uh, here and here on some HGs, probably. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it looks like the same hands. Yeah. Oh, I miss one. Ah, here. cool. It's even got like the smoke looking like it's or smoke ah, or steam whatever coming out of like the joints and stuff too on the gun now. Because it's trying so hard. Yes. That's cool. Nice. That's cool. That's a bit of a sunset in the background too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice uh, positioning, angling it right so the, mm -hmm. the sunset's like right behind the Gundam there. And it's the uh, Magella top. Boosting up like that, so I, f I forget exactly what was going on. I remember this is from like it's from the original series. Mm. I don't remember like exactly what was going on in that episode, but yeah, I've never actually seen the original series, so I can't help it. <laughs> I know. I heard it was Did trash. See, uh, I think I had some photos of that from from Shizuoka. There was one uh, builder that had stuff on display there who had like. All like the death scenes from uh, Victory, like displayed in like model kit, like the diorama form, and I think I included some photos of those in my coverage of Shizuoka last year. Did you remember that? Uh, remember, you mean the death scenes of just all the MS? Something? Yeah, 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 just like all the different MS, like all the enemy and MS and stuff getting destroyed from Gun of Victory. Uh, I can't remember. That was really cool. Just uh, seeing different scenes like uh, recreated from the anime just remind me of that. That's a really cool example of that. These are really nice. Oh yes, from Uta. Wow. Snow. That's cool. It looks I, so. I want to see the rest of the scene. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's zoomed in nice, so you can see this uh, really nice detail. On there. So, what do you reckon the yeah. snow? That's just like uh, uh, painted on like uh, Mod Podge or something like that. I guess. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Does Mod Podge dry white like that? Yeah, th that's what I was wondering though. I think it usually dries clear, but I wonder if you can get w some that dries white, or if it's just like a similar product that's specifically used to for snow. For snow, so yeah. Be like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The scaling of the snow attached on is so good. That looks yeah, like looks what nice. it would actually look like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it wouldn't be like huge, big blankets of snow on different mm -hmm. parts, right? It would just be like little bits on there and more probably just kind of like ice. It's and is that like, like, is it, well, the, the mono eyes lit up because I was looking at the cores. They look like they're a little bit rusted and worn away, but um, maybe not. So I was wondering if it's like been there for a while. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Without seeing like the rest of the scene, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on because mm -hmm. he like looks like he's resting but obviously not resting in that position <laughs> yeah. I assume it's like an action scene here which uh, he yeah. has another photo but i think it's it's a different scene here so oh. yeah uh and like i just wonder if this like kind of wall down here is like that's the edge of the diorama or there's something more down there or something i don't know mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the snow on the trees too looks super nice. Look at that. Very wow. realistic. Wow. Yeah. And the crumbled snow as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, and there's something with this when I was taking outside photos myself. I found that I enjoy photos with the light behind the kit more than directly on it. Um, mm -hmm. For some reason, it just fills it out in it's kind of E. And, I don't know. I guess you don't get as much contrast, but I was yeah. surprised. I would have thought it would be the other way around. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. See, if you're taking a picture like of someone or something like that, right? Mm. Try not to have it like the light, the sun is behind them. Yep. Mm. This one's really cool too. I like this. That's great. Yeah. Tarp Dezaku. Now, chains and ropes don't uh, don't usually don't work, but cloth like this sometimes. It depends on how it's done. But this one looks this pretty is, nice. This looks like it's like a putty or something. So they like press mm -hmm. it a little bit to give it more of the weight. This actually looks real. Yeah. Yeah. Either uh, putty or like melted plot paper, like 0.3 uh, millimeter plot paper or something like that could be. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Oh, this is that's really nice. It's too thin to be, I think, any like actual, like really super thin leather or something like that too. And just the way that yeah. it's shaped, is, yeah. how it goes over the the little um, latch on the shield. The boo -boo -boo. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. These little like kind of like bolt details there or something. Well, the, yeah, but I know out to the right more oh, on, on the, the edge there. Section. Yeah, that little drop yeah, down yeah. over that little thing. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Oh, this is just a nice dio. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I like all the little birds over here, too. <laughs> it's nice. And then some up here. Oh, yes. <laughs> I wonder if you just uh, just scratch built all those. They, they look like they might be. They look pretty simple. Yeah, just little yeah. bits of putty. This yeah. epoxy putty just like kind of like rolled and just make a bunch of them pretty simply, you know? Yeah, for how tiny they are, I mean, like, it's convincing enough. They don't need to be super detailed. Mm. Oh yeah, because this is HG, so they would be teeny tiny. I think uh, so. Uh, I, judging by the hand, um, it might be MG. It's the Zaku. It's the Zaku two F two. So there's an MG of it, but it's it's okay. modified a lot here too. Mm -hmm. So there's like a bunch of modifications to it. It might be MG. Because I try and just look at the. Um, oh yeah. Oh, I was just going to say, these uh, figures here, too, also look larger than 144 scale. Uh, yeah. Because I always so, try and go by the, the hand, and it looks like mm -hmm. a HG trigger finger hand. Yeah. Uh, but who knows what they've done with the hand, yeah. Uh, let me see. Take our first uh, exploration over here. This those is old, this is, this is, those old MG anymore. hands kind of look like that. Oh, uh, no, OK. I'm forgetting it's old MG. Yeah. Yeah. The old MG hands are kind of. Uh, yeah. Small. Let me find a good one of. Maybe there's not a I, good close up of the trigger finger hand. Mm, I forget they're not. Um, they're not all articulated fingers. Ah, mm -hmm. man. I think you're right. That looks like it. Could be. Yeah. Maybe. Because yeah. it looks like it's a three in one hand like yep. that, right? Yep. Yep. So I think that's probably right. It's probably the MG. Because those three fingers, those bottom three fingers, look a bit more rectangular and boxy mm. than the top one. The top one looks round, whereas the HG, yeah. I think they're all kind of roundy. Um, mm. You in this one, so. it would be, yeah, especially on the HG of this kit. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it uses the same hand, like it's the same hand mold that's used for like the Origin HGs and even the new Shars HG kit that like, just came out uses the same hand mold. And I think mm. this one too used the same hands. The okay. RG Shinanju also uses the same ones. Ah, uh, yeah. So. Uh, yeah, it's uh, that's uh, that's a great shot. That could man, that could just be framed as just a photo. That's a great this one of oh, the Zaka. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. just a print. That's great. Wow, yeah, I like that. I like how it's like in the background too. You could have like turned it a mm. little bit so that the building was kind of like off, like not right in the foreground of the photo there. Mm. But yeah, I like helps, the yeah. framing of that. Yeah, yeah, it's just actually a good photograph. Yeah, mm. nice. Here's Mick. <laughs> a close up of that little Barbatos there. With, which uh, which is that? That must be HG. That'd be the HG, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at the elbow at the shoulder joint. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm not sure that's uh, is that a five star story skit or I, I don't know it, but I'm guessing by the aesthetic. Yeah, I think so. But I know there's a couple other things that are kind of similar in aesthetic. Uh, so I'm not sure. But I think so. <laughs> I, I do like these. Uh, Dumbine? Yeah, Dumbine. I like them. They're cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Yeah. There you go. That's that's cool. Yeah, that's great. I like the like, the the photo quality reminds me of like the old like photo shoots they used to do like for the magazines to make it look like kind of realistic like this, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's super contrast. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, it looks like it's like almost done on an old camera or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's like an old film yeah, photograph mm -hmm. from like a magazine in the 80s or 90s or something. That's some good posing too, uh, like arrangement in the photo. Like there's just mm -hmm. motion and, and yeah, the framing is great. Nice, yeah, yeah. Even uh, like it would have had some like empty space over here, just filled it with the, just the little he hawks yeah. stuck in the sand there. Yeah. It's nice. Oh, that's great. Mm. Uh, so this is just, uh, yeah, HD origin kits. Are they, oh yeah, is it there? Mm. Yeah, that Desert Zaku. Uh, oh I'm yeah, sure. you can see that. the sticker think... and stuff. On the yeah, but I think that's the uh, Robot Damashi, actually. So these oh. might actually all be Robot Damashi. Actually. Yeah, do yeah, they yeah, have, yeah. Uh, Do they have stickers put on them like that? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. He might have put those on uh, mm. uh, separately. Separately, yeah, okay. Pretty sure this is the Robot Damashi. It looks like that. Mm. And the clear stand is also a Robot Damashi stand. So okay, yeah. I think that's probably what all of this stuff is. But obviously, points off for that uh, the mark there. Uh, so we have to go <laughs> hunt down the factory worker for Robot Damashi who nicked that out. <laughs> you can do that in your you know your photo, your position here. Just take a second, like cut that thing off. Just do it, man. Just stop being lazy. Come oh. on. Hey, here we go. All right, here we go. We got a classic uh, zero Aruzo. It's the classic upward angle yeah. sky photo there. Mm. The thing with the um, the upward angle is you go upward from really low to make it look big, but then you lose the head. It's like, it like disappears. So you have to like do the fake torso bend. That if you looked at it mm. normally, it looked terrible, but to bring the head down. Mm. Good old mm. Yaku. Uh, did you like this kit? The 2.0? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never, I mean, after I built and reviewed it, I've not ever done anything with it. It's like, I I'm like my, my, my dog is in here with his Kong and he's dropping it to get the food out. I gotta put him outside. Okay, okay. I'll just tell you guys. Uh, I liked this kit, but I mean, I, and I like the Hyakushiki. Uh, Josh, I was just saying that I like the Hyakushiki in general, but I don't know, something about it is just a little bit, oh, you can see his. Maybe fingers there holding the kit at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, it's gonna fall. I don't know, something is just kind of a little bit. I think it's the weapons are kind of boring to me. What it needs is like a, a cooler weapon, so some cooler gun. The beam rifle and the beam in the clay bazooka mm -hmm. are just kind of boring. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, I did the only one that I've done like a painted build of is the Mega Shiki, the Build Fighters version, and oh, yeah. I gave that one like a custom weapon i gave it a, a weapon from a different weapons pack or something like that because it needed something even that kit also needed something a little bit more mm -hmm. so I'll, i mean this is this is a great kit mm. uh, but not great enough that i've done anything with mine yet yeah just, yeah still around. it amazes me just the quality of the the gold just out of it the is really nice so, so nice yeah yeah mm -hmm. It is really nice, just straight out the box. I had this. Uh, I don't really keep many models like out on display, uh, but this one I I did keep out on display on my shelf for quite a while after I built it up. It was a while mm. before I finally put it away. So that's something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this this one yes. I love. Yes. <laughs> These are great. Um, whoopa. Uh, and. Of course, we got the Gundam here. This is really nice. It almost like reminds me of Truman Show. 
Oh, edge, yeah. There, you know? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> He's like right on the edge. It looks like it's just like the painted background, just like right there behind it. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, and he, they must have bumped up the shadows in uh, Photoshop or something or done like a bit of HDR because the shadows are there, but they're barely there. It looks so nice. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Must have uh, definitely done some post work on the photo, it seems like. But mm. it gets really nice. This is one on 44 scale, too. So that's is a tiny oh. little 144 scale. It's oh. the old. Obviously, <laughs> hold 144 scale. Yeah, yeah. The hands look really good, even though they're like big and, and balloony. They just look really nice. I don't know if that's standard in the kit, or maybe there's some resin or uh, printed ones. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder. They might be. They might be mm. resin printed. I'm not sure. And actually, like, mm, yeah, I don't know. Some of, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's just a modified 144 scale it's definitely not just like straight out the box yeah so i don't know if it's modified or it, if it is actually like some resin kit or something actually or kit bash i don't know it's nice that you I painted this like texture to it to all the colors uh, it almost looks like it's kind of uh max style max watch mm. style painted so mm. i i would guess that's uh very possibly how he painted it uh this one though i love because obviously oh yeah love the kapool love turn a and i got the little tiny associate heim in there <laughs> and i was wondering about that so i actually commented on this i asked him about uh, that figure oh yeah what that's from and he said it's actually just from oh he replied with another photo of that i think so let me see um no 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 hang on i want to just see the comments or he posted another photo of that and what it was that was also just a bandai builders parts figure oh yeah uh, no not here he must have posted about it, it looked separately. like it looked like in your message that you just checked he sent a link to a to an image but maybe not no okay, okay. Uh, but let's just go to this page. Maybe if we can find it real quick. Uh, it's just a modified, like just 144 scale HD builders parts figure. Okay. So it's pretty crazy. Pretty impressive. Let's see, it wasn't too long ago, only a couple days ago, but. Oh, some of these posts look good. Oh, Macross. <laughs> just to hide your oh, eyes. Yep. <laughs> uh, for this one, just earlier, earlier today, oh, the new one it. is the goof day. Goof day. So we might have to. It's Goof Day today, but we might have to save Goof Day maybe for next week. So I'm fine that's, with that. We did Gog Day, so <laughs> Goof Day would be pretty cool. It's a nice Mechatro. Oh, that's from uh, Kobayashi, the Mechatro designer. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it was because I asked him about that, and so oh, yeah. this has happened to me a couple times. Like I think like the interaction with a non-Japanese person like kind of really <laughs> startles them you know yeah yeah <laughs> so like he posted about it then he's like oh i should explain about this figure it's actually this and he posted like a something along those lines <laughs> a close-up image of like a work in progress photo or something from the gunna yeah he's just posting a lot of stuff so <laughs> what we'll to go uh, it was just like the 30th so it must uh, be yeah, yeah. Just right around one. here oh that's right oh geez Sorry for all the scrolling. And yeah, we are scrolling past a lot of stuff that I would like to stop and look at. <laughs> this is Twitter, guys. You've got to get on yeah. it. Man. I'm holding back. <laughs> I'm trying to focus on just getting that. Uh, you know. Oh, no. We were at August 30th. Now we're back to August 31st. How's that happen? Uh. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this is a good guy. If you guys aren't following Wapa, Wapa, Wapa. Opa. on uh on twitter follow him because he sh he obviously uh reposts a lot of cool stuff as you can see on here and i don't know i I've, I've, maybe i'm just uh, going to give up yeah that's all right let's take my word for it <laughs> oh there's my he reposted mine that's nice it must be right around here because this is when he posted that you can see a lot of people mm. asking about that damn 
Oh, wait, what were we looking for again? The figure? Where yeah. the figure's from? <laughs> yes. Now we're going back farther. I don't know if it's going to be here or not. I don't know. Uh, anyway. <laughs> what a shame. Uh, yeah, that's that post. And there's some other reposts. Maybe he left it as a comment to one of these. Did he do a retweet? And would it be still using the same hashtag? Uh, yeah, I don't know. So, so if we don't lose this page here, if we just do the hashtag and go to top, it might be up there. Um, Hazaki mentioned that in the chat, but I don't know. But look, whatever. I'm, I'm OK to move on. Yeah, whatever. Anyway. <sighs> whatever. Then it's made with a tiny little 144 scale HG Bullets part. <laughs> Painted up. So this is the old uh, 144 scale kit, which uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot of modification to it except for just the the whole top part. He did modify because on that kit, the top that doesn't open up like that. Doesn't come up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he had to cut that out and then make this whole kind of little system for. It. I saw in another picture of this kit that he posted, you could see it more as kind of like using some like kind of spring details, something in there to make that part. But very cool. Uh, the the high gog um, arm extension leg extension things get me get me liking it. That's cool. Yeah. And this is a I mean yeah it's an old kit very simple uh, but I really like that kit. Mm, looks like it's got good good amount of detail just all mm. you need. Mm. It's very simple and it's like not very big too. Mm. Uh, it's really nice. It's kind of like a painting like a Gundam version machine and Krieger kit in a way. I mean mm. similar aesthetic a little bit and similar in size. Okay. All right, here from Yusuke JBK. So a little bit of sky in there, but uh, uh, yeah, I guess it's I just a zoom up of the dial. Yeah. Hmm. This is pretty cool, though. I mean, with the tank on, yeah. the, knocking over the fence there. We did. Let's we did see. ask for like sixty percent minimum, sixty percent sky in the photo. So these aren't, yeah, aren't I mean that uh, hardly qualifies as sky and model, but yeah, but like model sky, sky. This one's cool, and it's got to be like he just Photoshop. Mm -hmm. He just like a clone. Oh yeah, you can see the, the little patches there. The little right? dark bits of green. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's those little like dark, there's, there's or there's those like there. darker bits um, underneath. Those really dark bits um, here. Those are like multi. Yeah, those those yeah, are multiplied. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah copy. Gotcha. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cool though. Uh, have you seen any of the videos that uh, I was going through the different Machine and Krieger books? Mm. And I've, I've gone through a couple of Machine and Krieger books. Uh, like in reviews here on my channel, and, uh, you can see like some of the photos would be like the Griffin or something like that. Some like the flying like air like kind of gunships from Machine Krieger, and they have like photos of them. It's like actually like looks like they're flying oh, in the air, no. just, like tossing the model up and then taking a picture. <laughs> yes, that's great. Done that. <laughs> then you don't need to Photoshop anything. That's it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> or just like film it in in 4K or something like that, and then you just mm. choose your image from that. Yeah. Easy. Then again, I actually don't remember if I if I did get confirmation from Link that that is actually what they're doing. That's just what it looks like mm -hmm. in the photos mm -hmm. that they're doing. <laughs> uh, but I should probably confirm that with Link. <laughs> he would know, I guess. But uh, all right, from Hiski. Oh, we got a lot of sky in that one. <laughs> oh, look at that, man! <laughs> it's overcompensating with the sky there. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more model. But some nice G three colors there. Oh yeah, that's the uh, what is this three point oh? No, mm, the hands are weird. It looks those are like HD hands. Mm. The hands are weird. Is maybe this like a maybe it's the G thirtieth HG. Okay, yeah, maybe. Hmm. It is like uh, very similarly detailed to the, uh, the 3.0. Uh, I don't remember what the hands necessarily look like, uh, but 
It's got um, like, um, yeah, it's got the same panel. No, these aren't the, as many panel lines. Oh. You can't really see it very well in that photo. Okay. Go back to this one. The details look right, don't they? Yeah, okay. I think you're right, yeah. Mm, yeah. Unless there wasn't the shoulder look um, deeper than they are on that standard kit. Mm, huh. Could just be just really stark panel lining on there. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Or could be the mega size. Um, oh. Possibly the mega size also basically has the same details as well too. Mm -hmm. uh, and let me see. I don't remember where his mega size stuff is. I think it's here. Uh, no, maybe not. He doesn't have a here on Dalong, a section for the mega size stuff. Uh, so I, I, would never, I always forget where it is here, there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. oh, let's see that hand. Oh, mm, yeah, mm. No, different, different hand. Yeah. It's weird looking, isn't it? Maybe it's just the yeah. angle it looks weird, the lighting is strange or something. Because it looks like, you know, when you put the back of the cap on and then you've got that little uh -huh. peg that pushes into the thumb to lock the thumb in place. Um, yeah, you can yeah, just yeah. really see that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Anyway, uh, you know what? Well, well, let's go to the chat, and no one seems to say. Uh, Fonde also yeah. said the G thirtieth. Mm. Either that or uh, the Master Grade one point five. Ah, okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's the certainly not the, this. The inside it's of the elbow joint might give mm. us a clue. They look pretty, uh, pretty specific. Yeah. Mm, that's true. Yeah, it's def the details are way different from this one. It's definitely not. Oh, uh, yeah, but, that's not it. Yeah. Um, when did the um, 2.0 come out? It's definitely not the Verka. No, not the 2.0. The 2.0 has like no details. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, just, yeah. It's, it's, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You're right. So I don't know. Yeah, I think it might be the G30 and just the hand yeah, okay. looks kind of weird. Hand, hand's different. Uh, yeah. It might be just a different HG hand from somewhere else. Mm. Could be. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's very likely that that kit didn't come with just a like fully closed fist like that. So yeah, it could yeah, be of it course. Could something else. Mm. It could very well be like something like a like a wave or something. Mm -hmm. uh, option hands, because I've seen some other option hands like. So mostly people just use ones from Bandai or something like that. But Kotobuki and Wave mm -hmm. also makes some like similar. Looking ones, but they're a bit odd looking. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, but uh, uh, check the build divers Gundam. Hasaki said, "Check the build divers Gundam. Build divers Gundam." Yeah. Which Gundam? For that? Maybe for, for the, the, the maybe that's what the hands are from. Maybe. Hmm. Anyway, here's cool. Ooh. Here's key. Uh, is it the same the same one? Right. This one's all yeah from the same guy. Oh yeah, cool. The classic goof custom. So good. Mm. I like that you can see the. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> in the background. Mm, that's cool. Electric uh, tower. Yeah. Nice. Nice use of the sun there. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. There's us. <laughs> There's the more Hiski. All right, Hiski. Three is three is gonna be your limit. <laughs> Any more get on our show uh, three times. I do like whatever color is used for the panel lining on this. It's like red. Looks like. Oh yeah. Even on the bazooka, yeah. Yeah, yeah. on the purple, like red on purple. Okay, I, I mean, I wouldn't have thought to do that, but it makes sense. Looks mm -hmm. good. But even on the bazooka too, I don't. I would not have been bold enough to do that. No think. way. Yeah, it looks good. It looks like a little bit more like it's not like straight up red, it's like reddish brown kind of color. So mm -hmm. it's not too far off, but it looks nice. And this, yeah. this, what kit is this, or is this a figure? Mm, I feel like that. I'm wondering that too. That little front bit on the front skirts, that little center little nozzle thing looks, I don't <laughs> think I've seen that before. Yeah, it looks weird. I think this is the, uh, that kind of like wannabe Dom from Gundam Seed. Oh, uh, okay. Wasn't there in Gundam Seed? Wasn't there like a Dom esque 
kind of uh, design. Am I wrong there? I, d I, d I don't remember. I d I, well, again, I haven't watched that either. Because they're, yeah, oh, well, here it is. And it's, it's definitely not. <laughs> it's way different. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's definitely not that. So Wait, does it have two different sized shoulders? I don't know. That's really wow. weird looking, isn't it? Oh, man, wow. I don't even remember that being that weird. Dom <laughs> Trooper. There you go. See, these these HGC kits, I think we've talked about this before. The mm. HGC kits get you because the box art on them is great. And then mm. the kits are so bad looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, kits, it's really goofy. But that box art is really cool. It looks looks awesome. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Yep. They, <laughs> they've got me in the shop before. I'm like, ooh, this one. I'm like, wait, no, it's old and it's yeah, not very cool. Uh, no, That's so you know, it's, it's definitely not that. What is this, guys? Um, uh, oh, Rick Dom 2, Mike says, uh, which should be here. Oh, yeah, here you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I never really looked very closely at uh, the Rick Dom 2, but yeah, there it is. Thank you, Mike. I knew it had like this kind of style of shoulders, but yeah, that little rectangle bit in the front is very odd. Never really noticed that before. Yeah. Kind of cool. Still prefer the regular Dom, I think. Original. Oh, and who Dom. was that? Was that Mike? Did you say? Mm-hmm. Oh, Mike. I. Oh man. Rinaldi. Great books. There. I, I bought one of your books before, and it was the Sasabi one. It was great. So good work. Mm -hmm. I know you know that, but anyway, I'm gonna say that. It must be like well late. I know Mike's in California, so what time is it there, Mike? It must be like maybe almost midnight, I guess. Maybe not that terribly late. But thanks for staying up. Uh, Katoya, I love his work. It's super cool. This is not Gundam related at all, but it's so cool. Look at that. What? All just this kit bash stuff with a piece of wood. wood. <laughs> <in there>. Man. <laughs> it's so cool. It's great, man. Wow. With the little fins out there, and it's just made with a the bunch cables. of jumps. Oh. Yeah, the cable is, are great there, too. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Wow. Oh, I see a bit of Photoshop on the bottom of that little post at the bottom. Ooh. Uh, it's kind of weird. Or, I don't know. Uh, Mike's Here. replying, midnight. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, you're welcome, Mike. Good one. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, man. Yeah, if you guys don't, uh, don't follow Katoya, definitely, definitely do. So good. Uh, Look at these. Super cool. This is made off of that. Uh, what's the name of this? Is a model kit I've always wanted to pick up because it looks really cool. It's a model kit of this of a submersible. His is like kit bashed a bunch and like cut up. But I'm pretty sure like the base model is from I think it's like the Shin Shinkai. Okay. Something like that. Uh, any of you guys know watching in the chat? Mike, uh, Mike might know. Mike, you know what I'm talking about? Um, there's the, there's like a, it's a Bandai kit, I think. It's a Bandai submersible kit. Uh, Bandai. I love it. You're going to look it up and it's just going to be a generic submarine looking thing. And then we realize yeah, how much more. I was right. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. It's not based off that. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, okay. Maybe not. But anyway, oh. this kit looks really super cool. I've always wanted to pick one up. That looks really cool. Mm hmm. And just what? look at this box art too. The box art is amazing. Oh, super cool looking. Shinkai. Okay, I'm gonna save that. So gonna that <laughs> that's that's great. Yeah. Wow. Is that based really? off of a real thing? I think so. Yeah, I think it's a, like oh. an actual submersible, like a Japanese submersible that they made a model kit of. Yeah. Really interesting. Mike, but, uh, Mike okay, I was wrong a, though about that. Uh, Asagawa or something. What's that? Mike was saying a Hasegawa. Uh, this, this this one? one? Uh, this, yeah, yeah, could yeah. could be like whatever this mm. is based off of. Could be a Hasegawa kit. Uh, about this one though, I think that I've like seen a Hasegawa version of this one too. So I think that Mike is right. That I don't remember. There might be uh, some okay. like Hasegawa version of this, or like the Hasegawa kit came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah this one. Yeah, yeah. 
earlier and then bend i made a kit of it later on i think is i think is how it went something like that but yeah here you go there's the house of Galo version oh uh, yeah no. so yeah um uh, i don't know i mean like for something like this obviously there's no like copyright for the design i wouldn't think it's not like a mm. gundam like hasagawa mm. doing a gundam model something like that so i would assume it's just no no issue like that but that's cool. And, yeah. and I love it. It's just submersible and it's just in the sky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, just re I just, that just clicked. But it's uh, great. It's, it's cool. so good. Yeah. Yeah. This one. What? With that like wood grain look on there. It's really nice. This looks like a painting. It doesn't, I guess the yeah, yeah, yeah. sky so blown out. It does, yeah. Whoa. It does. Big engine. It's like a big pod racer or something. Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish the sky wasn't so blown out on that photo, so it didn't mm. quite look like that. But uh, let me see. Oh no, here we go, Zach. We're just going to be scrolling past gold. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, I just wanted to take a look to see, to see if he has some other like other kind of works, uh, yeah. similar kind of stuff oh, here yes. that we can see. Just so you can see his look kit bash that. works. Just making this weird kind of kit bash stuff is just so good. And that looks like that makes sense. Like that back kind of end of it with the thin wires, that looks like it's just a rudder that would just catch a bit yeah. of air. Oh. Yeah. We don't want to, how is this a real motorcycle out of here with that? Here's some mecha stuff. I think he also, this is also who made the, uh, the Gundam with like the stilt legs, right? I forget. Um, I, made that I, do, I can't remember. Um, it's it's yeah. They've got the same aesthetic there, so possibly. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the spring legs. Like this kind of stuff. I love this. That's so cool. That's rad. Uh, how would you even make that? I don't even know. What? Like how I would even go about making something like that. This is brilliant because you look at it and you go, okay, this is a working piece of something. What does it even mm -hmm. do? And immediately you're just thinking about it. And it's been, it's old. It's been there for a long time because of the weathering. What kind of technology is this that I don't even know about? It's basically like a like sci-fi futuristic like illustrator artist, but just making his illustrations in like 3D. Mm. Oh. Just with that. The wood block base, I love it. That's cool. I just detail a photo of that. Yeah, it's wow. good. Uh, so yeah, guys, check out some of his stuff. Uh, he makes a lot of really cool stuff. This one's oh really amazing as well, gosh. too. Oh my gosh! Stop it! Version here of the Grabo, Grabo, Big Grab, Grabo, oh. one of those. Oh, I don't know. I was thinking ninety gal at first, but no. Uh, What's some of the different uh, mobile armor? But his version of that is so great. And these. Oh, these. I love, the, I love the head these the guys. <laughs> I love these guys so much. Yeah. I remember these, that big front shield on the dome. Yeah. Oh. oh, Like Damn. the uh, <laughs> four tube, like bazooka there on the dome. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy. And it's like toes that are like extension uh, yeah. things. <sighs> Damn. Like the wire supports on the like huh. front uh, guard there on the bazooka. Really cool. Wow. Oh. Very nice aesthetic. This and now this is just the episode. We just do an episode on this. <laughs> yeah, just on this one oh. guy's work. Cutway <laughs> uh, episode. Cutway episode. Yeah, anyway, so. Uh, oh, out, stop guys. it. Let's, let's, uh, get back <laughs> to this guy's stuff. Oh, we should do a Katoya episode. That's just fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, Ryokichi. Let's check out his Zaku sniper here. This looks cool. I like that. Uh, some Aurora oh. film or something like that there. Yeah. Circle wheel to that. That's some nice texture on that paint there, too. Yeah. There. The right kind of texture that you want for your yeah. paint, right? Yeah, that's it. The problem with the doing texture paint like that is that the decals, you can see the decals, he needed a little bit more uh, 
softer on there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To get those laid onto the detail or onto the uh, uh, surface. Paint texture. Yeah. Yeah. Texture. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the uh, little hooks bit That's added there nice. onto the side of the shoulder. Very nice little bits of detail. And even like this part, this bit added mm. up underneath the shoulder there. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Yeah, that's cool. Watch out, man. He's about to shoot your ass. Yeah, he's, he's getting sniped. <laughs> what, was it, what was it in double O? Or it's just that he would just say snipe or something? Lock on Stratos or something? Oh, it's so uh, dirty. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sniping, <laughs> sniping the, the target, something like that. Sniping the target. And then his name was like lock on. Like a, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And it's a bit of kit bash because that's. Uh, oh, yeah, that's goof. Yeah. Um, goof custom. Goof belly. Legs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goof custom legs, yeah. Didn't notice really on these because you can't really no, see the no, leg very much. Mm -mm. On this one, I just noticed the uh, the Zaku Sniper yeah. knee here. So nice. Mm -hmm. Didn't notice this other big pointy knee over there. <laughs> That's some nice camo, some um, desert camo too. Mm -hmm. It's subtle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's great. Ooh, love that white inside the thruster bells there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and like you just, just, mm -hmm. I was gonna say that utilitarian backpack. It's like Star Warsy. It's so good. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. This bit of it being like out of focus and the color blown out or the light blown out there too also mm. kind of adds to the realism of the photo. I think like the scale it of does. it. Yeah. yeah, you're right. <clears throat> mm. That's nice. Some nice shots there of that. Yeah, the camo is really nice. Eh? Mm. Not as noticeable like on the upper body, cause maybe just because the angle. Maybe, uh, yeah, it's, it's getting blown out a bit, yeah. Really nice there on the legs. That's cool. Oh, that's great. Uh, here we got... Uh, uh, yeah, it's a little bit long there for me. <laughs> Uh, this, what okay, is this? So it has a, another one of those, uh, goof. We saw it, uh, it last time or the time before we saw oh. another one with the same decal on it, but a smaller version yeah. of that. Mm -hmm. Like the goof or Zaku, like girl. Oh, was it that we saw Ramba Ra in the bikini? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a different version of that, basically. Mm -hmm. this, this one was not was, like not as hand hot. painted yeah. on there. Mm. Isn't it? I don't I the decal. I don't know. It's pretty well done. It, I think it is a decal. You think so? Yeah, that's what it's like here at the bottom. Like that's a signature. Oh, I mean, I do forget how good people are at painting miniatures and able to Bro. do stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. I, I mean, if that's hand painted, I could totally believe that. Mm -mm. What if that's like a niche, a niche kind of market, sending away little armor parts for people to hand paint stuff like this on it, send it back to you. Man, who is that that did the uh, that does all his decals hand painted? Oh uh, God, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Yukon, I think that's the name, or his Twitter name, something like that. Mm. Uh, so this looks hand painted on there as well too. The Zeke Zion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. So I wonder if all the the decals are. It might be some of these other ones. I don't know. Some of these maybe not. Uh, yeah, some of them not. But the stripes, yeah, look like it. Stripes kind of look like they're mm. hand painted or and or masked or something. I don't know. Mm. But this one too, I'm not sure about what kit this is. Actually, so it looks like a an oldie. Mm. Definitely, but it's fixed up a little bit. Yeah, because the back of the arm and the elbow seem like together in terms of mm. parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm not sure. At least the pose and the head. 
I mean, that surprised eye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I like the uh, spikes gone off the shoulder. Yeah. I, was a, I was a fan of that look. Probably my least favorite Zaku weapon, though. I, I really hate that gun. Oh, so actually, it's yeah. I'm looking. It's the thing where like the handle is so far back on the gun, yeah. there's no overhang, and it just yeah. feels so yeah, not weighted right. Yeah, I forget what the name of that gun is, but yeah, it's not one that I'm a fan of yeah. uh, because it's basically like the uh, the cannon of a Magella tank, and, like turned into a rifle, right, or like a, a handheld weapon. Oh, I don't know. Mm. Uh, so those are nice. Here's another Zaku. It's got this, uh, from Ito. You guys angle a little bit wrong for uh, capturing the sky there. But. Yeah. This between the two like uh, levels here for the photos. This one being super dark and this one super light. This one looks so much nicer, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks way better. Yeah. Oh, good focus. Wow. Like, yeah, the sky is blown out, but I mean, basically here too. And here's yeah. very dark, and I don't really like the kit. I mean, I don't know. The colors look too rich here for mm. me on the kit. Mm. Uh, just for my personal preference, I much prefer this. Yeah, color. this doesn't seem as it, it seems like the other one's a bit oversaturated. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm. is this a mega size? Mm. Could be. Those are some, because the panel lines on the back of the legs, um, they don't look like they're hand done. They're perfect. Um, and it would only be the mega size that would have that. Mm. Thank you. Yep. Uh, that's a good guess. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Mm. I've built a couple. <laughs> I should know. But yeah, as far as I can tell, it looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. I believe so. It's nice. Mm. Definitely oh, the lighter cool. color looks nice for that one. Yeah. There you go. This one I saw yeah. this one getting a lot of a lot of retweets. Oh, it's got sound too. I just wanted to see it larger. But so what how does Okay. Uh... So they took the photo, the photo of the goof they've overlaid onto some CG. Uh, I think the I think the video is a real video. Oh. In the sound too, you can also sound like it sounds like it's on a train or something. Oh, okay. Or maybe in a car. You can hear it because I'm kind of uh, yeah. sound like it's in a car or something maybe. But uh, and then I think he just then put the photo of the goof in there and then use that like uh, this is just some falling glass kind of some just something added in to the video. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Well done. Kobakin. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Here we got some more aura battling here. <laughs> A big feet. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, the big, they're like uh, bird kind of bird, feet. Yeah. Almost. yeah. Bird talon things. So, uh -huh. do you know what these are? These like. Uh, like a, I don't know, organic mixed with mecha. I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know anything don't about the series. I, that's a good guess, though. I would say you're mm. probably right. Yeah. Yeah. Someone in the chat, I'm sure, knows a whole lot more about that. Uh, this like toy castle, though, is not really fitting. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> what? I don't know. Okay. I was just so focused on them. Yeah, that's like some He-Man stuff. Mm. Because these models look really nicely painted. If even that, e either that or these aren't models. They might be like uh, toys, action figures, yeah. kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh, here's another one. And it's cool, like pose. Mm -hmm. Look like at this guy. Mm. Mm. I like how, like, he knew, like, for capturing it at this angle in this pose. He's gonna lose sight of the head, but he just went for it anyway. It still yeah. looks cool, even though yeah, you can't see the head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have moved the hand, but um, then mm -hmm. you wouldn't have got the pose. Right. 
Yeah. Courage. Mm -hmm. Courage that some people have. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, there you go. Some nice lighting on that, catching a little yeah. bit of that glow on that. These what call golden hour. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. A little tank there in the foreground. Ah, uh, yeah. That's sand, I think, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sand. <laughs> and here too. These are Robodamashi. Definitely. Oh, sand. yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Except going up. Well, <clears throat> it's a prototype. Uh, goof, I think prototype goof is what that oh, one is. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'd have a hard time believing that a gym could take down even a prototype goof just because yeah. I'd be on the side of the prototype goof. But yeah, yeah, it's all about the pilot, even though all right, it sometimes yeah. isn't. Yep, <laughs> all right, fine. I'll accept it this time. <laughs> this one, too, kind of similar to the one we saw earlier that I said it looks like an old magazine photo. Mm. So I'm kind of similar to that, but it's a little bit too dark here. I wish it was not quite so dark on yeah. the mobile suit. It's a black mobile suit, so. Oh, is it? Do. Yeah. Uh, oh, of course it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I built the, the HG. Oh, this. Oh, wait, no. No, I'm thinking of the, yeah, it was the demonstrator. It's this one here. Oh, no, OK, never mind. This guy. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, and that's why the thigh is white. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does Pretty look like cool. old school photo. Yeah. Those, uh, those version anime robot damashis are so cool looking. I, I would love to oh, collect a bunch of those, but yeah, I just can't can't get behind collecting a bunch of robot damashis. But... Yeah, yeah. I was if about I to ask to. you that before. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. If I were to, I would definitely love to get a bunch of those. They're they're great, they're great for if you're a fan of like MSV stuff like that. Mm. There's a lot of cool ones. All right. Okay, let's I reckon see. we let's let's do a double scroll. We both have to say yes to whatever we see, and then we look at okay. it. Okay. All right, fine. How about oh, this one? This, yeah, this is a yes. I don't even know. What okay. This <laughs> I was gonna this say. Just, yeah, this is just creative. Cool, it definitely looks yeah, very yeah. interesting. Some like Miyazaki kind of style stuff. So mm -hmm. it's from Cosmomose. Yeah, that's cool. Using oh, the water yeah. to make it stand up. What a so okay. So those clouds must be photoshopped. There's a bit of like foam. Uh, what do no, you no. call it? Oh wait, no, that is all fake it's stuff. Oh, yeah. well like, uh, done. Damn. Nice. Mm -hmm. And hiding uh, support. There's probably a rod or something in there. Yeah. That hiding that in the water. Oh. Nice. Oh, big rock, dude! I didn't yeah. even realize. Cool. I don't know if this is actually from something or if you mm. know it's just like like a kind of Ghibli kind of style inspired or something like that. Mm. Good old other planets where just rock things float and the water mm. comes from nowhere. It's so man, cool. why can't we have cool stuff like that here? I know, right? Jeez. This is freaking cute. <laughs> what even is this? <laughs> Some like a uh, cucumber guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks funny. like he's like I can do it. I'm just going to head out on my own. I can change yeah. the world. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this little flower hands is cool. Kind of similar to the uh, yeah. style we were seeing before. Mm. There's a Mechatro kit there, looks like. What? The base of it, but the arms are like uh, high gog arms, like oh, those parts on there good, anyway. Good noticing, yeah. With pipe cleaners for like the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like airbrush cleaner. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. This is cool. It okay, feels bye. like it's a, it's like a, it's just a video game I want to play. Mm -hmm. Where you're in some alt the future, like 500 years from now or something. Some junk kind of ramshackle future. Yeah. Climbing something. Junk, mm -hmm. junk collecting. Yeah, yeah. Man. I love man. I love these kind of model kits, just made with all this random 
crap, but it looks so convincing. So convincing. Even the cement thing down the bottom, like the markings yeah. on the cement thing, that just looks so good. Mm. And you know, that's just like some base he made. It's probably just like yeah. this big, you know, this, this little block. Mm -hmm. He's made it to look like cement. Really yeah, I love it. Just like, what should I do? It. I'll just do the cement thing, and just <laughs> it just looks perfect. Yeah. Uh -huh. I would say, like, for this photo, I wonder if he like left, did it in a way that leaving these mm. houses in the background to make it kind of like so that it actually looks like more realistic. Mm -hmm. Something about it that still doesn't look quite right, though. Like to be like uh, actually in scale. I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, it's you mean with the with the background or just with the figures themselves? Uh, it's, it seems like it's taken in a way to make it look more believable as like this is an actual like full scale thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. By including the background, uh, but I think yeah. it's just because it's the only thing in the foreground. Yeah. Mm -mm. If there was like uh, uh, like these houses and stuff were like a little bit higher up, and there was like another mm -hmm. like fence wall like right mm -hmm. behind his little block. Mm -hmm. here, he also made just like a little just fence or something to kind of set this more so it's obviously in the foreground yeah and there's stuff in the background yeah this looks quite separate mm -hmm. it does yeah yeah it feels like there's a lot of space between this and mm -hmm. those things in the background mm. anyway still it's really cool see man this is it the light the best light box is outside look at this <laughs> so yeah good. yeah yeah very nice is a yes. photo of the back side of that one. Oh, I just do. I think it's the back side of the first one. I think so, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I kind of wonder if that's also just like a bunch of uh, epoxy putty on top of a Mechatro kit. Because like the shape uh, of the uh, body looks like kind of a classic <laughs> Mechatro oh, body yeah. shape, doesn't it? It does. If we go back oh, to the first sure. one. Found Maybe. It's cheater. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, no, no, no. I'm I just wonder if that's what he used for like the base of that. All right. Oof. Gotta check Whoa. these out. That just crotch shot. I yes. am Shige. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's good. Oh, look at that detailing. Jeez. That's really look nice. HG as well. Mm. That's the, um, the, mm -hmm. the WAF. The WAF, right? Uh, Boog, I think, or is it oh, the Boog? Yeah, I kind of get them oh, I think confused. It's... I think it's the Boog. The, Boog. the Boog's the blue one. Hey, the Waf's the, yeah. the like, gray, like dark black one. Gray. Oh, gray one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, the little bits of detail added on there are great. Let's see. Waf. Um, yeah, I can't tell. That's nice. Super weird face that I quickly started to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really wasn't wasn't keen on that at all. But you know, I've seen some really great uh, builds of it, so definitely helps. I love how you can see the little zigzag bit there in the mm -hmm. commander horn on top of that too. Is that a that would just be a builder's part, right? Uh, or did it come I with that? So no, no, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Not as far as I can remember. And I think there was like maybe one or two different P band diversions of this as well, but I don't believe any of them had that. Yeah. Okay. I don't think. Uh... Oh, maybe it did this one, the blue one. Oh. Uh, blue one but it doesn't look quite the same though. Yeah. Okay. So he had that, but maybe he just switched it out for a different, uh, for a different one. Or a different builders part or something, because yeah, it's definitely different from the one that was included with the kit. Mm. Those little shoulder things, the little things, are so weird. Mm. It's like a little like uh, ladder across the side of the shoulders. Yeah, uh, I don't know why it weirds me out. Yeah, very strange, and it's hard to tell. I, like you probably ever removed them, but yeah. yeah. Uh, see stuff like this, like you just you forget. Uh, in a HG, it's so small. But when you look at it like this, so it looks like it's a one one hundred or something, or, even, or full size, you forget how good the details actually are, just mm. on the kit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah there's a compared to the waf. Yeah, the waf. Oh, yeah, uh, there you go. yeah, the head's similar, but the, yeah, the body's uh, yeah. different. 
And just the colors oh. on that are really nice too. I love those so MSV nice. colors on there. Mm. So all those panel lines on the thighs, those are added in afterwards, eh? Uh, yeah, how much does it have on there? On the, uh, it has Maybe quite not. a bit. See, oh, no, it's got them. Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. 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 The origin kits do have quite a lot of detail on them already. So I think mostly mm. what he did, as far as added details, is adding these, like, just these little bits of plot play, like here on the yes. front of the chest. Yeah, those are nice. Uh, like Skirts. This, the plate here on the front of the skirt there, and the little yeah. bits there at the bottom. This little like latch bit on the front of the thigh, I love that. It looks really nice. Freaking latches, yeah. Yep. It's all you need to make it look more realistic. To That's some it. Latches on it. <laughs> yeah. It's nice, and it looks like uh, the kind of bolt here on the side of the chest too. You also added those mm. that too, and it looks like maybe changed the design. It has these bolts on the side of the shoulder too. Oh, no, the no, this is the same. Oh uh, yeah. The detail looks the same on those. So. Very oh. cool. Some more origin stuff. Maybe it's all just kind of. Eh, that's not origin, and eh, that's not origin either. But anyway, these are really nice. I like how these are in like dusk lighting yeah. too. So they're yeah. kind, of, kind of dark, but mm. it's cool. Mm. Oh, that's the dude in the background. He's still got the little oh, yeah. shoulder spikes on. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He did still leave those on there. Eh? Just a little bit of truck here, a little ammo delivery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> doo, doo. This one too, just little bits of plot play detail added onto oh, here and there. Makes such a difference. Wow. Yeah, I'll just take some notes here how yeah, to yeah. fill up my origin kits. Yeah. <laughs> on oh, that shoulder with a little armor plate frame thing on the outside, it's yeah. still so nice. Yeah, I love that. And. I need to work on some origin kits. They're so great. Yeah, I do too. This is just a standard HG mm -hmm. ground gym, but also you can see just a little bit of. They like look rounded on the top as well, as if they're like big hammered in rivets. I wonder if it's just. Uh... It might just be like one millimeter brass rod. Oh kind of, yeah. You know. Yeah. Just cut off and then. You can like file the end of it mm -hmm. to be like that and then just drill and pop it in there. Could be. It's a good pose. Pose, I yeah. say. Um, maybe just framing instead is the word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. So, that's it. Mm. Would make a very good like Twitter banner for your Twitter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Catching the <laughs> light on the uh, visor that's, there. That's nice. That's real nice. That blue. Mm hmm. This one too here. That's cool. Uh, this would be. Oh, that's some builder's pots. Hands? This is a master grade. Uh, no, no, yeah. I think it's. Uh, yeah. It's not the two. Is it? What's. What, show, show me the piston on the, on the front leg. Uh, sorry, on the front foot, the piston. Uh, it might be yeah. it might be a two point Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it just uh, I guess made it look like it's just missing that piece of armor there. I guess. Mm -mm. So there's those little kneecap, the sides of the knees. It doesn't have the armor piece that went on the top mm -hmm. of it. I think that might be two point Yeah. And is a two point I forget. Is the two point shoulder part lacking detail like that? Just I thought it had like yeah. a line of detail around there. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's got nothing. Um, no, it's, it it's like, like it's like the it's like the 2.0 RX 78 doesn't really have anything. Mm. Mm. It's pretty pretty tuny. There you go. There. Mm. Yeah, this one also catching that twilight yes. light along the edges there so nicely. Yeah, that's nice. That's some nice ones. Yeah, I am Shige Gumpla Refine. <laughs> there you go. Oh. What's this uh, like a simulated sky there? What is that? What are we looking at here? I don't even yeah, know. What no, you, this is a real sky show. You can't put it in front of a computer monitor or something. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know what that is. Here's uh, some more stuff. Nice. I uh, am live. This guy does some cool work. That's such a cool kit too. 
And still, we've we both got you. You have that as well, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I haven't built it. I've wanted to do yeah. this exact thing with a bit of the grass, a bit of the moss, little dude yeah. sitting on it. Oh man. I know. Sitting on. <laughs> This one's cool too. This is uh is it does Bandai make this kit or is someone else? I, it must be Bandai, I guess. I don't but know. I've seen it every now and then and thought, mm, never, never uh, gone ahead and picked one up. But uh, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I could see it's a total almost. Mm. Mm. This camo <laughs> on there is really cool. What? It almost seems like a, the camo from a Machining Krieger kind of design. Mm. It makes it look like he's been stuck in the ocean for just years or something. He's got like seaweed stain or something. I don't know what. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> the Jeep yeah, the, in the uh, background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's like just doing some off-roading there or something. Or just gone off a ramp. Yeah. The uh, I wish that it didn't have such a thick brown filter over it. Yeah, yeah, that is really thick. Yeah, so it does kind of take away. I guess if the like white was too white, though, it almost kind of looked like a kind of like birthday party cake kind of look to it too too much. (laughs) If it was too white, so just the design of the camo is is cool. I think it works really well for this design for this. uh, It really does. Yeah, bear guy. It's nice. And it's unique. I don't know if I've ever really seen camo in that style. So. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Oh. There you go. Origin oh, MG. Man. Is she? MG. MG? I was, oh. thinking, so, yeah. mm. I was just looking at the hands. Always, always at the hands, uh, but yeah. Uh, maybe you're right. Maybe it's outside HG. hand. Yeah, yeah it's got yeah. that the, the, the mm-hmm. hole. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah. I'm still, still origin. Oh, yeah, good call. Some pretty nice weathering on that. Yeah, super super chipped. Mm-hmm. And and yeah, again, brown brown wash. Mm. Yeah, the brown wash is still a little bit thick for me. Mm. It's kind of drowning out a little bit too much, but. It's like, hey guys, remember we got this brown wash. I want everybody to be using it. Okay. Yeah. Just splash it on there. <laughs> uh, Airplanes. So. Uh, What's this? Oh, <laughs> the oldie. Zaku uh, Mariner. Wow. What's that paint on the front skirt? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It has that. Weird front skirt design. I've seen that before. What? It's like this is like back in like Nintendo sixty four days when they could only afford a certain amount of polygons or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, right, right. right. It looks like that. N sixty four graphics, Zaku Mariner. Oh. Uh, see, that's pretty cool. Cool. This one. That's pretty funny. What? Whoa, with like the propeller blades floating back. What? Epson, <laughs> what is that? Is that a print cartridge or something? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's another one of these like kit bash of random stuff <laughs> put together. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, oh, you can tell it's just nice. some other random parts of stuff. Mm. Just anything that's anything that's plastic, we can paint it. And then yeah. that like that compared to this. Yeah. <laughs> so quite the stark difference there. This one's pretty wild too, like tank. What? Flying tank and like the oh, yes. flaps on wires <laughs> off the back. I guess that'd work. <laughs> um I didn't even notice the turret at the front. Whoa. And little claws too. That's pretty weird and wild. Mm, man, it just triggers the imagination. That's so cool. Yeah. Good uh, what? What is that meant to be? I'm not sure. Is it like a 
garbage disposal? Wait, there's a, there's a um, Mazinger in the back. Mazinger? Yeah, up up above the gray cat on top of that. So go up higher. Oh, up yeah. Higher. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Nice. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, me either. That's funny. Okay, one more. I gotta I gotta finish off. Oh yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, let's find something. Here's some cool stuff. Gote. Uh, is that pale, pale righty? Yeah. 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 Uh, this is what I wanted to see too. I know I've seen other builders doing that. Uh, oh, yeah. I've not really seen it done like in this scale though. So what's the the theory behind that is that if a melee weapon went to hit it, it would hit those and then not damage the thing underneath it? Is that kind of what it would be? Give it just uh, a couple more hits? You know, I don't know. I'm okay. not sure. Maybe someone else can shed some light on that. But yeah, I've seen some other builders who there's one builder I can't remember, you know, can't remember the names of anyone, but mm -hmm. uh, there's the one I'm sure you know who I'm talking about, who has these and has like a bunch of them around all the skirting armor of his like custom uh, Dom mm. goop or something like that. I'm sure you've seen it around too. Yeah, I do remember those. Uh, but all right. There you go. There's oh, plenty man. more to see, but as always, you forever. guys. Oh, yeah. Stop scrolling, okay. Zach. Stop it. Okay. It never helps. <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh, continue on your own. Check out the hashtag. All you got to do, mm -hmm. if you can't uh, type it out there, uh, you can just copy him from like the video title or something. Copy and paste that into, into Twitter. Uh, or my Twitter post. You can copy and paste it from my Twitter. Twitter post has the hashtag there or to click it. Yeah, that's all you need to do, right? So if you want to check it out more, go to my Twitter account, check the post, check the hashtag there. Josh, that oh, was a fun one. Thanks. Lots of sky in there. Lots of sky. That was great. I was thinking, what, are we going to get bored of these sky photos? But no, not at all. Mm. Yeah, it was, I was wondering about that too. It's just going to be a bunch of like the same like Naoki style <laughs> photos. But no, there was lots of, lots mm -hmm. of cool, interesting stuff there. Naoki's not even in on the hashtag that he kind of accidentally contributes to all the time. Where was he? Yeah. It's like his like yeah. thing that he's been pushing all summer. Yeah. Right? He's been pushing like outdoor photography. That's like his thing. But I think he probably did uh, post something with the hashtag. We didn't get to it. Yeah, he just didn't get to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. More than likely, I'm sure he did. Uh, all right. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Maybe next week we'll have Goof next Day. Week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm keen. Uh, unless something oh, else comes up. And then what's but... a, what? What's the other builder we're going to do? Like a whole episode on him. But... Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll have to do that. We'll plan that in. Yeah. Let's Sometime. see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could do. We could do a whole episode of just looking at Yupa as well too. I'd like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> see Zach. Yeah, it's this. This show is for us, so we got to do stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Just mm. yeah, instead of dedicated to a theme, just dedicated to a, a one like particular, very prolific Twitter Twitter modeler. Mm. Yeah. Man. Hashtag right. hashtag Josh and Zach love Yupa. That's the hashtag, and we actually post that yes. on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. Yes, indeed. So till next time, guys. Uh, those of you who are hanging out, yeah, we were on a weird time today, so hopefully. Mm. Uh, you guys could watch it live. If you're watching this later, though, uh, just make sure you follow on social media to make sure you know when the next episode is going to be uh, sometime next week. Thanks, Josh. everybody in the chat. Good to have you. Yeah. Good to have you along. Yeah. Good hanging out. See you later. Bye, everyone. Bye.